There are plenty of ideas going around about how to avoid getting COVID-19 or coronavirus, if you prefer. And mostly we're talking about good hand washing, personal hygiene, and keeping yourself isolated from others or social distancing, as they call it. But a nurse in general practice in the United Kingdom put out some thoughts anonymously, and I kind of like them, so I'm going to paraphrase them for you, about what to do if you actually get COVID-19. Because plenty of us will, sad to say, and plenty of us have. So what do you have to do? Well, basically, you have to just prepare as if you were going to get some nasty bronchitis, pneumonia, some nasty flu, some really, really horrid thing. You need some foresight. If you, if you were to know that you were going to get something nasty, what would you have in the house? Kleenex, plenty of tissues, paracetamol. Important to have a stock of paracetamol. The easy stuff to swallow, too, because some paracetamol pills that you get from uh, issued in prescriptions are pretty hard to swallow, but there are coated paracetamol that are easier for you, especially if you're not feeling very good. And you can buy those from a chemist. Uh, whatever cough medicine you like, you should also have. And check the one of choice but not one that contains paracetamol. Otherwise, you lose track of how much paracetamol you are taking. And you will need your paracetamol. So you need a mucus thinning cough medicine. Okay, Kleenex tissues or some other tissues, paracetamol, cough medicine. And, and by the way, if you get this thing, honey and lemon can work just as well as any old cough medicine at the end of the day but then you need a good supply of honey and lemon so you take your choice and then something to rub into your chest is also a great suggestion uh, vix vapor rub is that what this particular nurse recommends and that might be good there's also the idea of having a humidifier around if you can find one or if you've got one these things are useful because, you know, you get, you, you're going to have a very dry throat, dry chest if you get coronavirus. I mean, you can just turn the shower on and on hot and sit in the bathroom breathing in the steam. That works just as well, but you're going to need some way. Or you can have the old-fashioned thing, you know, a kettle and a tea cloth over your head, a bowl and some hot water and just breathe in the steam. But you are going to need some way of, of helping yourself in that regard. And if you have a history of asthma, you need your prescription inhaler or make sure the one you've got hasn't expired. Refill it, get a new one if necessary. These are the basics for you, uh, basic things you would need. And then if you really feel you're at risk, you should have a good set of frozen ready-made meals. Store up, make some of your favorite soup and freeze it up. If you catch this thing, or even if you don't, you need to drink a lot. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Stock up on your favorite clear fluids to drink. I mean, any any fluid is okay, but you have something available that you like. What else? Yes, so you, you watch yourself. Symptom management. If you get a fever over 38 degrees centigrade, take paracetamol. Well, you have to be pretty young if you're going to understand that. 38 degrees centigrade is 100 Fahrenheit. Okay. So, I mean, and most of us in the English speaking world still use Fahrenheit. I know, I mean, the young people in Britain do use centigrade. Uh, the European style of doing things. 100 Fahrenheit. If you get a temperature over 100 Fahrenheit, 38 degrees centigrade, then take paracetamol, not ibuprofen. Do not take ibuprofen. Take paracetamol. And you can ask your, your own friendly neighborhood nurse to give you the reasons. It seems reasonable, actually, to me. Ibuprofen is, in my 
I way of thinking it's a kind of muscle relaxant pain relief thing but it doesn't have the quality to bring down temperatures and that's what you're looking for and you should rest lots you should be not be leaving your house obviously even if you're feeling better you still may be infectious for 14 days and <laughs> you should avoid old people if you do get it wear gloves and a mask to avoid contaminating others in your house they say this anyway it seems a reasonable suggestion to me there are have been plenty of instances where one person in a household has got it and the rest have not <coughs> so it's doable you can do it you can you can if you're not living alone you can actually isolate yourself in a bedroom and ask uh, friends and family to leave supplies outside the door and you avoid contact and yes you, if you you should sanitize your bed linen and clothes frequently and wash and clean your bathroom as frequently as you can. Well, these are basics. So what else is there to say? Well, you do not need to go to hospital unless you're having trouble breathing or if your fever is very high. What's a very high fever? I guess that's over 39 degrees centigrade. That's over 101 Fahrenheit. That's a high fever, not just over 101, but over 101, and it cannot be brought down with paracetamol, okay? So over 101, and it cannot be brought down with paracetamol or, or other medications that you have. Then you have a problem. But 90% of healthy adult cases, I mean, cases in healthy adults, have been managed at home thus far with rest and hydration and basic medications like paracetamol. So that should be your objective if you get this thing. Obviously, if you have a pre-existing risk, if you have a pre-existing lung condition like emphysema or lung cancer or uh, you're on immunosuppressants, then now is a good time to talk to a doctor or a specialist about what you should do if you do get sick. I mean, my wife has MS, so she's on immunosuppressants, so um, she has to be careful. People who are in these categories have to be careful. Uh, and the great joy about this thing if there is a joy the 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 one beautiful blessing is that children do very well with coronavirus they bounce back pretty swiftly they may still uh, be slightly infectious but they're not as infectious as adults and you just need to use a pediatric dose and be calm and rational and everything will come out fine so and finally how do you know if you have uh, this virus well you have an itching throat you have a dry cough you have a dry throat you have high temperature you have shortness of breath and so yes what do you do when you see these things you quickly take warm water with lemon and drink it because it will help and it will seriously help the symptoms and it, you may be blessed if you do that i knew know quite a number of people who've got this thing some of them are having a rougher time than others god bless you and protect you and heaven knows you deserve to come through this everybody deserves to come through this without too much suffering so let's pray for one another in these difficult times and pray for the medical staff that would have to treat us if if we were taken into hospital they're having a burden and a half but as my wife reminded me today and as my daughter said all shall be well 
all shall be well. Yes, all manner of things shall be well. God bless you and keep you. All the best. <laughs>